Okay, if you haven't figured out what I made uh, at this point, um, it's what's called a paper pot maker. Um, it's simply more or less a, a mortise and tenon, sort of, on a, uh, a big old dowel rod, <laughs> essentially. And uh, you wrap paper around this piece, and you shove it into this piece, and then you could kind of compress a piece of paper to make a paper planting plot pot. Um, already did one, and this is uh, basically what it is. Uh, that's all it does. You put your uh, potting soil in here. You put your seed in here. Let it grow a little bit, and uh, you know then you can plant this whole thing into the ground. So let me show you. I don't have any newspaper. Normally you'd want to do this with newspaper, from what I understand. I, I'm not a gardener. Uh, I don't garden, and I don't know a whole lot about this. But this is what the client wanted and this is what I made him. Um, so normally you do this with newspaper and uh, you get a long strip of it and uh, I put three different lines on here and each one of these lines is one inch apart so I, I don't know if that's going to be pertinent to him but uh, um, I went ahead and did that kind of to match this as well. So I'm going to set this roughly about three inches and like I said, you normally do this with newspaper. So you you wrap the paper around this, uh, what I'm calling a, a large dowel rod <laughs> with a tenon on the bottom. And then you fold the ends over uh, simply like you would, um, I, I guess, wrap a, uh, a Christmas gift. So you kind of wrap that up under there, tuck that in nice and neat. And then use the, uh, what I'll call the uh, tenon on this side and the mortise on this side. That's what I'm calling it. I don't know if there's a technical name for it. Um, so use the uh, uh, tenon on this side to fit into this mortise. And then you simply just press it in there. Uh, with this type of paper that I'm using, this is just copy paper. So I do have to press kind of hard. I would imagine with newspaper, you wouldn't have to press that hard. So you get that and you gently pull this off. And from what I understand, this is the trickiest part of the process is actually getting this off the, the uh, large dowel rod here. And you have a nice little starter flower pot. Uh, this here is what I'm calling a depth like I said, I'm not a gardener, so I'm sure there's other names for this thing. Um, a potting depth gauge. Each one of these is one inch uh, in depth. And I think they use these to uh, really uh, plant like bulbs in the ground. So you can shove them down. Certain bulbs, I, th I think, require a certain depth. And, and you put it down into the ground so, so far, uh, depending on the bulb. Um, again, these lines are burned in on every inch, uh, roughly, and um, so essentially you can um, take your potting soil or the ground and uh, shove this into the ground at a certain depth and you got a um, perfect depth for whatever seed or bulb or whatever, uh, um, whatever you're getting ready to grow. So. Hey, if this is your first time watching MF Woodshop, thank you for saying sticking around to the end. I encourage you to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of my future content. I pretty much put a video out every week, and I really enjoy reading your comments that you leave me. So if you haven't left me a comment, please do so. If you like this project, give me a thumbs up. And until next time, I'll see you later.